Have you ever heard about the time the US stole a Soviet helicopter in the 80s? It's true, and they totally got away with it. Now, at best, the relationship between the United States and Russia can be described as frenemies? But if you think it's awkward today, trust me, it was much worse during the Cold War when the threat of nuclear annihilation loomed overhead. So both countries continually tried to one-up each other with regards to weapons and military capabilities. But in order to do that, they have to know what the other team is working with. So when the Soviet Union released the then unparalleled Mi-24 Hind helicopter to the battlefield in the 70s, the CIA couldn't wait to get their hands on one. Which is why the legendary Army Night Stalkers decided to straight up steal one. They stole a helicopter. Yeah, today we just steal secrets. And speaking of stealing secrets, let's protect your secrets. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. If you care about your privacy and security online, you might want to consider using a VPN, a virtual private network, which allows you to connect remotely, protecting your data, IP address, and private information. Ever been a victim of credit card fraud? Yep, me too. If you're like me and you access Wi-Fi from coffee shops, hotels, or airports, NordVPN will provide military-grade encryption and 1,000 servers in 61 countries to keep your data safe. And now, bottom viewers can get 75% off a three-year plan by visiting nordvpn.com slash W-A-T-M. That's just under three bucks a month. And you can run it simultaneously on up to six devices, including your phone and computers. You can also use the code WADAM at checkout, that's W-A-T-M, like we are the mighty, and get an additional month of NordVPN for free. So, go to nordvpn.com slash WADAM and start protecting yourself. Okay, Russia. The Hind was developed to be a heavily armed attack gunship that could also carry up to eight fully armed operators in an albeit cramped bay behind the cockpit. It had the ability to deliver spec ops teams to the battlefield and remain in the AOR, that's area of responsibility for all my civvies, for air support or gunship operations. In contrast, the US's UH-1 Huey was moderately armed at best, serving as a battlefield transport vehicle rather than playing an operational role. Now the Hind quickly proved itself against Mujahideen fighters in the Soviet's controversial Afghanistan conflict, which prompted the question of whether the US should design an equivalent. Western intelligence wanted a closer look, and in 1987, they saw an opportunity when they discovered a Libyan MI-25, the export variant of the MI-24, that was left behind in Chadian territory after Chadian troops expelled Libyan forces from their borders. It was just sitting there, ripe for the taking. Now, at the time, Libyan-backed rebels, armed with Soviet-supplied weapons, were attempting to usurp the Chadian government, but they were forced to retreat leaving behind a considerable amount of military hardware, including an abandoned Hind D on an old airfield ramp. The race to procure the airship before the Libyans could recover it began. The CIA-led operation would be named Mount Hope, and the first order of business was to recruit the right aviators for the job. Enter the 160th Special Operations Aviation Group, home of the Night Stalkers. Now, if you're not familiar, the Night Stalkers are known for their proficiency in nighttime operations in all environments, anywhere in the world. They're a special operations force that specializes in helicopter aviation support. And they're good. Training began in the dry deserts of New Mexico, where CH-47 Chinooks were modified to bear the weight of the Hind D, which was estimated at 17,000 to 18,000 pounds. Teams begin to practice in low light or dark conditions, flying in, strapping blivets of 17,000 pounds of water to the underside of the bird, and egressing to a simulated forward support base. The first test went smoothly, so the team ran another practice op, this time strapping an actual airframe to the Chinook. Again, the Night Stalkers pulled it off. The CIA was satisfied, and it was time for the real thing. Two Chinooks were loaded aboard a C-5 Galaxy. By the way, I always love seeing what the C-5 can carry. Like fire trucks, A-10s, it doesn't matter. We actually made a video about it. I'll put the link in the description below. And they were transported to Chad by way of Germany, while the Army sent an advanced echelon scouting and reconnaissance team to monitor the Hind and keep an eye out for enemy forces, who were still very much active in the area. 
Now, a firefight with Libya had the potential to spark an international incident and call attention to the fact that the United States was actively trying to remove Soviet weaponry from the desert. The operation needed to remain a secret at all costs. On June 11, 1988, the Night Stalkers flew over 500 nautical miles under the cover of darkness, strapping the Hind to their Chinook near daybreak. Chalk One, an advanced team, cleared the location and quickly rigged the Hind for extraction, while the Chalk Two Chinook hovered close above as the team below sling loaded the Hind to their bird. Like, they didn't just get in there and fly the Hind out, they strapped their helicopter to a helicopter, and that's how they left. <laughs> Chalk 2 departed for the FSB and Chalk 1 got the hell out of Dodge. And the Libyans were completely clueless about the entire operation. Chalk 2 stopped twice for refuel, nearly made it home without incident, until an unanticipated 3,000 foot sandstorm struck. Hauling ass through near zero visibility, Chalk 2 raced just ahead of the storm, managed to successfully land at their base just in time to wait out the storm in their bird before loading their new prize into the galaxy and returning to US soil. Operation Mount Hope was a complete success. The MI-24 Hind was in a class all on its own. Western Intel had never seen anything like it. The US explored a similar concept, but ultimately went with the UH-60 Blackhawk, and later, the AH-64 Apache. But until then, the Hind was king. So, Leave us a comment, let us know what you think of our new video format. We hung that camo netting ourselves, there's... Well, not me, other people did it. Augie did it, and Megan. Augie and Megan hung it, and I just came in and... I just did my hair.